Hi, I'm Melinda McDonald. I'm married to Dean McDonald. We have three highly active social children named Faith, Ryan, and Salem. And I'm here to tell you my story. I was taught that church was something that you did not miss. We did not miss a day. Um, I was taught to pray before meals. I was taught um, the Our Father, which I'm very grateful for. But other than walking in a church and then walking out of a church, God was rarely mentioned. Um, God was not a part of any decisions that we made in our lives. In fact, if you knew me back in high school and college, you would never know um, that I had ever set foot into a church with my behaviors, with my language, with the way that I treated others. I would not have called myself a Christian because I was not, although I went to church. There's, I've come to find out there is a huge, huge difference between the two. Before we got married, Dean and I had had a lot of conversations about this, and, and, um, and he knew I believed in God, and that I believed in Jesus Christ, um, but that I was far from completely following him with my heart. And so because of that, I expected Dean to be with the fulfillment. Because I didn't have a relationship with Jesus, I was expecting other people to give me my joy and my happiness, and that's impossible to do. There, there was a huge defining moment I was sitting in my third grade classroom, I had been teaching, and my students were out to recess. And I had put my head down on my table, on my desk, and I had been crying. I had no hope at that time. I was frustrated, I was overwhelmed, and I didn't know where to turn, because Dean wasn't filling me. My friends, they were just um, looking for a good time. And so I really didn't know what else to do. And it just was a really bad day. And Diane Campbell walked in my classroom and she sat down next to me and knowing that I wasn't okay, but she asked the question anyway, are you okay? And I looked up with tears in my eyes and I told her no, no I wasn't. And she said, Melinda, I think you're at a place in your life where you need to understand that your hope and your joy and your peace and everything can come from Christ. And I said, you know, I believe in God. And she said, I know you do. But have you allowed him to be in control of your life? And I had to tell her that no, that I hadn't let him be in control. So. Right then and there, she prayed with me, and um, I asked God to forgive me of all of my sins that I've been committing, and the lifestyle I've been living, and the demands that I've been placing on people, and I looked to Him for the first time. I started going to Bible study with her every Sunday. I met with her, and she started teaching me what the actual Word of God said. Not what men told me church was. Not that I was to say this prayer at this time and that I was going, I had to go to church every Sunday in order for God to love me. I, di I didn't have to earn God's love. So there was such a peace that came over me when I understood that God truly did have an unconditional love for me. I enjoyed studying the Bible. I actually couldn't get enough of it. And I just could not wait to learn more about this God that I had believed in for so long, but didn't truly know. I came to understand it's about a relationship with Jesus Christ. And I kept coming back to that. And I decided shortly after that, that my life would try to model 
as much as I possibly could to walk a life like Jesus Christ. And my entire goal and purpose behind that was so that I could lead others to him. And I'm so grateful for um, the understanding that has come to me through the wonderful teachers that I've sat under that have actually taken me to the scriptures and said, what does the Bible say, Melinda? What does it say about developing a relationship with Christ? He's not a far off God. He's a God that loves me. He's a God that desires a relationship with me. And without that, I don't know where I would be. And I love um, the fact that I can go to him just like I do a best friend. I love the fact that he is rejoicing when I rejoice. He's crying when I cry. He's, um, he's got it all figured out for me.